Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. My name is Mark, and welcome back to another episode of the Rotathon. Today, we're looking at Spiritfall. Again, I don't do this very often, but um, there are some games that I play on the Rogathon that are either in early access or at an, at an early stage, and playing it again on full release is a completely new experience. And I would say that Spiritfall is one of those games. Now, I featured this game on episode like 50 something, maybe a little, even less than that. I don't know, it's kind of hard to say, because uh, it gets quite. Uh, quite confusing with the amount of episodes I've done on this series so far, but I've been playing some Spirit Fall of the new of the final release version, of course, and I've got to say I have been loving it. I think this is one of the top roguelikes of the year so far, and I've played a lot of them, and so I'm excited to play it again. Now I do, I, I think the full release does add a lot, but not to the point where it's a fully new experience because I, I'd say that the early access was already quite uh, quite full and quite entertaining by itself. Uh, that being said, this is my series and I just want to play this game. But also I want to feature it now that it's fully released. But yeah, this is Spiritfall. If you don't know about it, it's a, a fighting game roguelike and I don't know any other that really do it. Uh, in, in, in this way. Usually when, when roguelikes try to combine different styles or genres, it doesn't really work out very well. Not very often. Uh, uh, when I look at uh, Moon... Uh, uh, Moon Rider? No. Uh, well, like Cult of the Lamb, uh, games like Hand of the Fate. These games are roguelikes that also combine another subgenre together to try to create something uh, a little different. And usually I don't think they work super well, uh, but this is a game that really combines just 2D fighting games, Smash. This is pretty much Smash. It's, it's, it's Smash, but it's a roguelike, but it actually works really, really well. And I'm very excited to share that once again on this channel, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. Anyway, how's everybody doing? Hello, Catface, hello, Colin, hello, Sabora, hello, Zootron. Welcome, welcome. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Uh, is this on Switch or only on Steam? I believe this game finally has uh, the game fully released on uh, the Switch. I haven't really I heard many people talk about it. Um, it might start getting more and more traction now that it's released, although I believe it's been released for a few weeks slash month now. Uh, so I, um, I don't think it has as much uh, traction as I expected. So I want to give this game a uh, bit of a shout out because I think this game is really, really good. And again, I've, I've played uh, quite a lot of <laughs> roguelikes. I think I'm at about 150 plus roguelikes that I've played, which is quite a substantial amount, I would say. For episode 100, <laughs> any thoughts for episode 100? No, I'm still like, I still have like 28 episodes to go, so I'm 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 good. I don't have to think about it like right now. Uh, especially since now that we're doing three series uh, uh, at a time. I'm expecting episode 100 to happen, like, during the summer, like, mid to late summer, which I will do something for episode 100, I have to, but I don't know yet. Smash Bros. on the Hardcore Death Mechanics, exactly. That's exactly where we're, uh, what we're going to be uh, getting ourselves into. So, um, let me refresh a little bit uh, what, this, uh, what this game has to offer, and I'll also be talking about uh, some of the changes they've done. Uh, now, I don't remember everything from the original version i do remember a lot from uh i mean I, I i know i know a lot of what's currently happening in the game i've played it quite a bit uh i've finished it I, i've beaten the final final true boss which is great uh a uh, very very cool final true boss a uh, massive uh, massive fan of it um <clears throat> but i did forget a little bit of uh how it was prior to that okay entering this room always has this little uh lag you can't have a perfect game, what can I say? Anyway, uh, we've got a few weapons of choice here. Um, now, this is pretty much, uh, this is, uh, again, this, these, this, this game it has a lot. So it has a combination of a lot of different um, inspira inspirations. So this is like 100% Hades right here. You can choose your weapon. Each weapon has uh, different uh, has different forms. You can change the forms. Uh, they're, they're completely different. This is this is definitely I think in the new version I don't think it was in the alpha or um, early access, but like each weapon has two different uh, uh, Variations and they're pretty much just new weapons. I mean when you look at the little little fists 
compared to the big one that's completely different when you look at this uh, big hammer versus twin hammers that's a completely new moveset with different attacks so they pretty much double the amount of uh, weapons you can have in this game which is crazy but before anything of course I mean we still haven't started the run but it is important to uh, to make sure that we do honor the cookie gods uh, again I believe this is a part of their uh, April Fool's shift uh, oh, we're almost, we can almost get a cookie coin I remember we're like halfway through but that's not bad all right uh, I'm gonna get myself uh, actually a little less than half a, uh, a third through one cookie actually money Ugh. but it, this is temporary we'll go back to our traditional cookie stuff uh, I'm assuming anyway um, but yeah so this um, there's a lot of different uh, weapons to choose from a lot of different variations I actually have not unlocked the alternate form I can definitely do it for here oh no I actually I don't think I can Anyway, uh, so I will say right now, uh, anybody in the chat, the first person in the chat that's, that, that gives me a weapon to choose from uh, these five is the one I'll be going for on my first run. And then I'll, I'll, then I'll explain a few things. Uh, so ch take a look and uh, choose your weapon. Mm, 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 mm. I guess I have, it's kind of like, you know, Smash reference because the game is Smash. Uh, and again, I, I've said it a few times before. Uh, but, uh, I used to play Smash, uh, fairly competitively. Uh, I'm gonna bring down the volume, because it sounds pretty loud. Um, so, I'm, uh, I was, I, I was pretty excited when I heard that this game was pretty much Smash, but I think they really did a phenomenal job, all things considered, so, for them. The first one, uh, cool. Uh, I'm thinking of doing the base form, because I actually think the base form is more fun. Uh, this is like the big smacker. Bonk. Bonk. Uh, we can just go for like an all-in, like a one-hit KO uh, kind of uh, kind of weapon. Otherwise, we can do the alternate form, which... What is the alternate? After hitting an enemy with a fully charged launcher, gain cooldown, or multi-hit attacks deal 15% damage for each consecutive hit during the same attack. So this is kind of like... Yeah, you kind of like... Do more attacks in a row, but I'm not too sure how I feel about these weapons. Well, it's not bad. So just like just like in Smash, uh, your character has like uh, aerial attacks, uh, different uh, any any uh, button you press while doing aerials uh, will have its own unique attack. So you can do like a forward aerial, a down aerial, an up aerial, and all of them really have really played very differently it's very impressive how this game really feels like a freaking uh a fighting game which is really really i really praise it for that i'm gonna go with the base form again because i i love my i love my big hitter and then we'll do another run where we actually instead what we do one where it's big hitter and then we'll do another run where it's a bunch of um, uh, multi-head attacks i think that's what we'll do all right so we'll go with uh, our traditional big hit Bagonger. Great. Uh, now, uh, this was in the original, I believe. I'm not too sure. But, once again, you can also change um, a lot of your... Uh, you can change, like, your mask, which uh, gives you, like, a per uh, permanent abilities. So, for instance, uh, the mask of Zalfoon. Uh, your attack gain a variable damage roll, randomly adding up to 20% damage to each attack. Sure. But, when you complete a combat room without getting hit, you gain... Plus 1.5% damage permanently. And all of these, again, add different ways of playing. So you have to choose which one you think is works pretty well with your build. I'm actually gonna go with the um with the mask of Yamfas. Because I think it works pretty well with what we're going for. Uh, you can wave dash, which is again another technique you can do which I, I i don't care about the first uh, about the first part what's important on this one is that after you wave dash or oh wait no sorry uh my bad. I'm looking at the wrong one. Wait, where, 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 where is it? Okay, there you go, there you go, there you go. That's the one I was looking for. While granted, you can jump while charging your launcher, and, w and I think we're going to try to go for a launcher build, like our big, like whack attack. Uh, charging your launcher during combat builds a meter. When full, your next perfect launcher depletes it and give you 60% damage for six seconds. So that's what we're going to go for. Uh, so basically, you can see now this. Builds up, and when, we, and when it's completely full, boom, now we deal a lot more damage for three seconds. But more importantly, we can also jump while having it charged. 
which is pretty good with this build because we're trying to go for just a launcher build. We're basically, we're not doing any basic attacks for a while. That's what we're going to try to go with this build. Uh, another thing in the in this game that uh, that is really impressive, it's like you have a ton of um, permanent uh, permanent uh, meta progression upgrades, but differently than a lot of games that have like oh uh, uh, you you now uh, plus five percent. Uh, um, uh, health increase then plus 10 percent then plus 15 percent or you gain more gold like these are straight up design and gameplay changes all of them it's insane when you stun a stunned enemy into another enemy their stun duration is increased by 30 percent or now uh, your attack and longer deal 20 percent damage to stunned enemies or uh for one second after you are hit your launcher deals 25 percent damage uh, there's, uh, airborne enemies receive 5% damage and are stunned for longer. Like, all of these completely change the way you play for, for a lot of stuff. And it's, it, it is a game that, I, I, what I find really cool is that a lot of these are hard to upgrade. But if you were to have all of them at the start, it would be very confusing. Because a lot of these are very, like, you kind of have to, like, really understand. Like, you can cancel the recovery time of an attack or launcher with your bolt, which is my, my little spell. Like, so I can cancel my animation if I use that at the same time. And introducing these one by one, uh, as you're being more comfortable with the core gameplay, allows you to really uh, get a lot more uh, experience to just really understand the depth of the uh, gameplay that this game has, which is very similar to, to Smash. Smash has a lot of very, very tiny, like, little uh, like, um, mechanics that you can implement if you understand the game very well. And I think this game re actually reflects that, which is awesome. Uh, so I have a lot of them unlocked already. I've been playing this game a lot, and I still have a ton more to unlock, and I can still use my these points to upgrade other things, such as uh, those different masks to increase their their uh, their efficiency. So there's that, and then you can also upgrade your weapons, and then you can also, when you get here, you can also add different uh, modifiers, just kind of like in Hades, to make the, the, the difficulty harder, harder, but you can also add certain effects to make you stronger before a run. So this game has a lot, and that's just even talking about the pre-run uh, uh, portion of it. But guess what? The runs are actually really, really fun. And very different and very, um, very unique from one another, which I really respect. Hey, Neverhead, I love the roguelike ranking video. I will thank you, thank you very much. I'm actually, today I spent most of my day actually, um, uh, preparing my next tier list. I've got another tier list I'll be doing in about, I'm thinking like a week to a week and a half, uh, where I'll be doing another 35 games that were not covered in the, in that ranking. So if you like that one, make sure to check out that one. It'll be fun. Well, you missed not much, yes. Playstyle in games is very cool and hard to do sometimes. It really is hard. It is hard to uh, to actually make because usually you're just going to have one that's just powerful or more fun than others. But honestly, I, I've played with every weapon. They're all usable and there's a lot of different builds. And each weapon doesn't always have to have one particular build. Like I'm going for a launcher build with this weapon, but you don't have to go for a launcher build. The attack build with this uh, weapon also works really well. Every, every possible build can work with any weapon. And all the weapon variants are also very unique and work with anything. It's very impressive. I'm very, very impressed with this game. Um, and so, again, congrats to them for uh, for really de delivering a very, very satisfying full release. But I got to show you the game to uh, to prove my point, uh, probably. So, you know, looking forward to it. Hell yeah. I reacted to the April Fool's event in Cuckoo Clicker. Yes, I did. Uh, you know, the, f the fun fact is that as someone who, who currently does not have like a, a job because I'm freelancing and I don't, I'm, I'm in between projects. I have no idea what day it is. So last time I streamed, it was before April, uh, be before uh, Easter and I totally forgot Easter was happening and I was very confused as to what was going on on the, on the cookie clicker uh, page. Uh, now I understand and it is funny. Uh, I, I will say, I don't think I've fully expressed my amusement to it. Ha ha ha. It is, it is funny. Uh, I will say, but unfortunately I, I saw it before the stream. I didn't realize. So, like, most of my enjoyment was, like, off-stream. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you missed my reaction. I need to... As a streamer, I need to try to make sure that, that I record every one of my reactions in real life. Because otherwise, I'm missing out of content. But you can't... I'm, I'm doing my best. You know? Mark! What? Hello, hello. Try to Terraria down... Uh, down... Down date? I haven't... Wait, I haven't heard much about it yet. Uh... 
Mark, what? What? What is it, Colin? What is it? What is it? Hello, loser queen. What is up, everybody? Anyway, so um, I'm gonna get started with this run. Um, I'm going to be playing on. I'm gonna make you one, uh, one thing easier. I'm gonna get rid of the cursed relics. We should have done an April Fool's joke and pretend our cookie clicker reset. <laughs> You're right, I didn't think about doing an April Fool's joke. Uh, I'll try to remember for next year. How about that? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> All the content they added since... No! <laughs> really? Um, I think one of my favorite ones... Ugh, I'm, I'm sorry, but one of my favorite ones is the Hearthstone. Uh, April Fool's. Hearthstone is so funny with their April Fool's. Unfortunately, I can't talk about it because my my manager doesn't told me I am not allowed to talk about Hearthstone on stream, so I can't talk about it. It's just the rules I have to deal with. There's always next year, exactly. Okay, Mark! <laughs> sorry, sorry! <coughs> anyway, we're gonna start with an item. Um, I'm not gonna explain why I'm starting with an, with an item, but we're gonna start with... Um, a chance that any blessing that we find has a 50% chance to come with a pre-equipped uh, luminous gem, which just means that it just can be upgraded. So anytime we see an upgrade, it might have a gem, which makes it even better. So that's good. No Hearthstone. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Here we go. And I'll try to explain as we go on. So uh, I have my attacks. I also have my my gun. <laughs> it's not really a gun, but it's my. I forgot how you call it. Uh, but it is my. How do you call it? Uh, I forgot, but it, it, it is that thing. And uh, we'll be able to change that uh, as we collect boons. This is our first boon, it's the fire one. Fire one is not great. Ooh, we got an epic one though. Hmm. So, we will be able to get our launcher, attack, and uh, cast, which is the gun, uh, like uh, very quickly. You want to figure out which one you want from them, and then everything else will just be unique effects, like bonfire. So we want to select very, very carefully which one we want to be our launcher, attack, and cast. Especially launcher. We are planning on going for a launcher build, so odds are we are looking for a particular uh, blessing for our launcher. I don't want the fire one. So I'm going to go, go with bonfire, and we're going to hope to find some status effect stuff uh, throughout the run, which we probably will, uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Alright. That is... what the... Wow, that is a really weird path. That is not supposed to look like that, but... Okay, sure. Right, let's grab some holy dice. Uh, getting some holy dice early is good. This is probably what we want for our launcher. So we're going to try to go for this blessing. So, this game is very satisfying, which is great. Um, I, I do, uh, appreciate when game, like, I, I think it's important for, <laughs> I mean, this might sound stupid, but have, making sure your game is satisfying, even outside of just having good design, is really important. And I think this game is insanely satisfying, which is great. Um, there's a lot, of, again, there's a lot of, like, hidden mechanics that are quite important, uh, once you get familiar with the game more and more. Uh, for instance, uh, some, uh, attacks have, um, oh, shoot. Some attacks have, um, like weak points, or I forgot, uh, or like, like, sp like if you hit them exactly at the right, at the right spot, uh, you will deal extra damage, and you can even proc special effects, and you get a, you usually get a sound when that happens. Let me see if I can get it. Um, I think my neutral attack can do it. So if I go here, there, you heard a little, there you go, and you can see a little f blue flash. This means that I hit, a, I did a particular attack. That I need to be in the uh, this is a sweet spot. I think it's called a sweet spot. I need to be exactly at the right angle, and uh, you, you you deal more damage. I played the hell out of it. yeah. Actually, I did play a lot of it as well, so it'd be funny to see. And you have a, a screwed up secret room spot I found in. I oh really? Uh, Terraria is so relaxing. <sighs> I I think I already explained like told about my bad experience with Terraria. I lost like a huge file once. Ooh, okay. We did get the 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 launcher. It is not rare or anything. You don't. That, that's hard to get, but it does come with a gem. That's the item we started with. That's pretty lucky. So our launcher deals a lot more damage, but more importantly, it inflicts drenched for seven seconds, and uh, the target gets plus five stun duration and wall splat per stack. So wall wall splat. If they hit a wall, they, they take more damage. So we're just gonna be whacking enemies into walls. That's the idea. 
let's get another relic, maybe? Yeah, let's get another relic. So now... Bonk. <laughs> and... Bonk. And... Bonk. Mm, bonk. There you go. Gonna grab one of those. And uh, these are just... Uh, Outside of the uh, 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 hub world stuff. Once per room, become invincible for two seconds after getting hit. That is not very good, but we'll take it. So many options on here. Again, like uh, once you get comfortable with uh, with uh, with the game, uh, it makes a lot more sense for sure. Oh, I'm 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 excited to see that actually. Get them sweet launcher points. Oh yeah. Uh, let's go for. Hmm. This one's pretty good too, but I'm thinking of more, more drench stuff because we are planning on going for a drench build. Boink. Boink. Oh, it is so satisfying. And huzzah! I mean, uh, maybe I shouldn't start with the launcher just because I don't have to do as many like actions because I'm just mostly focused on just the launcher but when you're playing like an, an attack that really just focuses on uh, a weapon that really focuses on like many doing multi-hit stuff it gets really cool uh let's get our dash your dash unleashes a watery explosion that damages nearby enemies and inflicts drenched more drench she's fun she gives us a free thing which gives us random effects Plus 7 movement speed and 11 attack speed for 5 rooms. Thank you. I'm not going to spend any money on, on the rest of that. Uh, this is a new feature in the, in the, the, this new in the re release, which are mini bosses, which we're definitely going to go for. Uh, relic. Sure, we'll go for Relic. Kind of wish I didn't have to go through a shop, but... Receive minus 20% damage against elites or deal damage for every dust you have. Your sweet spot. Oh, there you go. Your sweet spot deals more damage. Uh, I'm not going to spend money on this. I'm just going to leave. Unfortunate that we had to do a... Ooh, this is another special event. Unfortunately, we're not going to fight that. Because we're going to be doing something else instead. Which you will see. Alright, mini boss. Oh, I thought I was fast enough. Run away. And boom. And boom. And boom. Donk. Donk. And boom. And out. Oh, and boom. And whoo. Get out of here. Alright, and we get a special thing. Hold Q to create a defensive bubble. After absorbing a hit, the bubble will burst, inflicting drenched for five seconds. Uh, this is our like a special ability. I don't know if we want to go for a special I don't know if we want to grab a special ability yet. I don't really care about this one. The pentacle bolt is kind of cool. Your bolts fire... The bolts are cast. Fire five throwing stars in a spread pattern. Damaging enemies and inflicting confusion. And confusion is pretty cool because target receive plus 30% damage when struck from behind. So now, instead of shooting our little gun, we do... Hacha! It's cool. I don't, I don't know why it's like, that's, that's a joke, but... Okay. Let's actually play some Smash. And I will show you my true Smash skills on stream. Ooh la la. <laughs> What's up, Slee? Alright. And boom! Let's do that again. Get out of here. Come on. Boom! There you go. And lastly. Oh man, you actually. Come on, can I get a. Can I get a. Yes! No! <laughs> I was too greedy. I really wanted to do, do that. I thought I could jump out of it. <laughs> I, I had it. I just didn't need to do that. But Okay. Uh, that was very unnecessary, but it was fun. Uh, that was Smash. Okay, well, I actually lost a lot of stuff there. That was, that was bad. Alright, uh, let's spend money on... I guess we're going all in on, uh, on the Drench stuff, huh? Drowsing attack? Your attacks deal more damage and inflict drenched? Drenched? Comes with a gem, and it's rare. Okay, so we're full on drench. Why not? Smack my head. It was cool. It was cool. Right. All right, first boss. Mark sucks at this game. 
<laughs> exactly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why, why, why did the... Oh, I, I... Okay, the last time I played this game, I uh, finally beat the true, true, true final boss. So I guess the animation doesn't... Uh, the cutscene doesn't actually start anymore. Uh, normally there's like a, a whole cutscene. Trying to stop her from doing an attack. Ah, shoot. Come on. Nice, got it. Wow, wow, it's weird. Normally there's always text. I'm still not used to not having the text. All right, in between the worlds, we go to this cool uh, lady right here. Uh, she gives us an opportunity to level up our weapon with unique things specific to the weapon, which is great. You fall slower while charging your launcher in the air. Any launcher you hit while airborne deals more damage. Or I can hold my normal attack to charge my new my neutral attack for up to 100% damage. I'm going to do the major en enchantment. So now when I do a charge attack in the midair, I can go... Which goes pretty well with uh, what we're going for. Boom! Nice. The bosses are cool. Absolutely. Unfortunately, they um, they don't change. You can't have everything. But yeah. We're going to go for another mini boss here. So here we can sacrifice some souls. That's something specific to the game. Thousand launcher. Oh, it... Oh, it just upgraded my launcher. Hell yeah, that's pretty, like, luckily. And what about this one? Oh my goodness, and it gave me... <laughs> gave me an extra gem on my launcher? Whoa! Alright, uh, thanks for the launcher build, I guess. Cool. Mini boss. Bonk. 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 Ah, oh, come on. Uh, ah, gotta be careful. Ooh, gotta be careful. And boom. Ah, I saw that attack, but I was a little late. Okay, you have to be careful. They, they are pretty fast. I like, again, this game really does show you when the enemies are, are planning on attacking, so you don't really get many surprises, which is quite nice. Come on. Uh. Come on, if I can just stun them constantly. Uh. Uh. And... Oh, gosh, I'm so close. I don't want to take damage. Though. Why are they not dying? Wait, what, what? Wait, wait! I just realized they're not dying at all. What the hell is that? <laughs> what was that a bug? Why was that one over there completely stunned? <laughs> it took me forever to realize that they were not taking damage. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, uh, the new Stardew Valley. That's right. I heard really good things about that. Okay. Um, while enemies are inflicted with status effects, they also receive more damage. So if they're affected with drenched and confused, they'll take 16% damage already. That's pretty good. We'll take that. Okay, let's go get some health, I think. We're, yeah, I know. Ah, yeah. Me too. It, it, it definitely does bring you back to, to when I was playing a lot of Smash. Come on. And... Boom. Nice. There you go. Get some health. Uh, hopefully I get to prove myself again. Nope, not yet. Uh, let's go for... Oh, man. Another double... Double... Uh, no choice... Um, Shops. I don't want to go for shops, but they're not giving me any, any choices here. Fortunate. Bit unlucky. Careful, that thing goes boom. Ooh, that was close. And boom. And boom.
Oh. Okay, I almost got hit there, but it's okay because I'm a professional gamer, so nothing bad can ever happen to me. Woo! All right. Uh, this guy, you can sell some uh, one of your uh, abilities, but all our abilities are pretty good. Okay, we're going to go here. Hello. Whenever you defeat a boss, gain 10% dust based on your total amount. Um, Is that ever worth it? Not really. <sighs> I don't think I want to buy any of this stuff. Restore when I kill an enemy. Oh, actually, restore health when I kill an enemy is not bad. But I want I want something to come with, like, some special things in the bottom. Like, attack damage. Like, I want launcher damage. I'll spend 10 gold to see if I find anything else. More HP. Ooh, launcher damage. When you enter a boss room, restore health. Okay, that's pretty good. I'll take that. Plus 14% launcher damage. Cool. Alright. Alright. Round two. This time I won't kill myself. There we go. Ah, shoot, I forgot that my dash does not work with that. If I hit him from behind, he takes more damage. I don't think I have a spike other than the one I tried that killed me. All right, it's fine. Cool. All right, now we get these uh, well-deserved stuff. Okay, oh, Shadow Partner. Shadow Partner is awesome. Uh, create a clone that mimics you for seven seconds. Enemies hit by the clone are confused for seven seconds. Holding Q will make the clone wait in place. So that's my ultimate ability. We're going to have a clone following us around. Look at him. Woo, woo. Stay here. Now, woo, woo. Stay here. Now, woo, woo. Nice. Uh, all your cooldowns are faster? I don't think I care about my cooldowns. You deal bonus damage when striking undamaged enemies? That's pretty good with a launcher build. I'll take that. Get my essence. Alright. And we're gonna try to upgrade our launcher again. Bonk. Uh... Clone! Assist me! Do my bidding! How? Ha! Boom! Hit that wall for me. Thank you very much. Let's grab that. And upgrade our launcher. That's not my launcher. Uh, 10% clone damage? No, I'd rather get my launcher. That's not my launcher. I'd rather, I'd rather get my launcher. That's not my launcher. How many of things do I have? There we go. Jeez. Well, that was a, using a lot of, uh... Had to use a lot for that, but still worth it. Uh, sure. Free... Let's actually get this upgrade. And make, uh... Our attacks stronger? Sure. Still going to have to use my attacks eventually. Uh, when inflicting a stackable status effect on enemies, there is a chance to apply an additional stack. That does work with, um, with Drowse. When hitting enemies directly from above. Let's, let's take Flare up. Second boss, people! Here we go! Get punk. Poor Colin. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Wait, wait, I... You, you grabbed your expired, uh, passport? I read my expiration. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, I should be reading these things, but that was, that was hilarious. <laughs> Alright, uh, they're cool. This is just more of a staring contest, honestly. Yeah, this boss is pretty cool. Alright, here we go. 
You're trying to, like, try to deal, like, equal damage to all of them, if you can. Easier said than done. Mm, so far, hitless. Which is nice. It's not easy to do this hitless. Nice. Nice. One down. Nope. Not gonna hurt me. Ah. Ah! Didn't hit me. Killed one of them. Okay. Two down. This guy's D. You. Oh gosh! Ugh, got it. <sighs> nice. Ooh, that was clean! Hitless, baby! Woo! Let's go! Nice! They're in throwing my passport away. <laughs> that would be so stupid. Anyway, moving on. Alright, let's see what we get. Each attack you land on an enemy adds plus 10% damage to your next launcher, up to 50%. That's pretty good. Your weapon's down air attack summons three projectiles. Uh, we're not doing air attack stuff. And your perfect launcher creates a ranged projectile that deals 60 damage and travels further the more health you have. Let's definitely take this. Let's definitely take the relentless finisher. We have one more. Uh, let's do the perfect launcher deals 20% more damage. Cool. So now, we have a little projectile. That's cool. Okay. Uh, let's go... Let's go this way. Maybe get another relic. We'll see. Massive sword beam. Yeah, seriously. Bonk. <laughs> oh, I love it. Bonk. 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 <laughs> get some health. Uh, let's get more health. Why not? Ah, I was being greedy. I wanted to charge my thing longer. Oh, shoot. I thought I killed him. And come here. Come here, little bug. Bam! So if they have... If enemies have shields, like that yellow shield uh, bar uh, next to their uh, health, it means that they can't, they can't get stunned. But if they don't have that, then they can get stunned by my attacks. So you have to be careful with ones that have shields because they will deal attacks. They will hit you if you charge something. So you have to be a little more cautious about it. Uh, upgrade something or another relic. Maybe another relic because the relics get stronger and stronger. I only have three spots for them, but still. So here, I have to be careful because, yeah, he is not going to get stunned by my attacks. Oop, yep, that was a little slow. I have to be careful because, again, with this weapon, you, you, you tend to be very greedy because uh, it's a very slow weapon compared to others. So you will want to, like, charge your attacks a lot, but you have to be aware of when it's worth charging attack, when you're free to do so, and when you're about to take damage. But uh, I think this game does a really good job at show showing when enemies are going to be attacking you, like, being aware of, like, when you can and cannot uh, evade something, which is quite nice. What we got? Celestial exchange items cost less damage. <laughs> cost less dust. What am I talking about? Let's replace it, uh, because we could try to buy a bunch of stuff now. 40% is a, is a big number. Uh, goodbye, crystal, a crystalline vessel. You did well. And the crystalline vessel can give me an essence. Yeah, I would be so stressed. Let's go to here. More dice. Oh, I messed that up. So here I wanted to charge an attack, but I instead had to do uh, like a normal attack just so I could get closer to the enemy before he would be able to actually trigger one of their attacks. Nope, this one has a shield, so I have to be careful. Yeah, 
Nope. So using a normal attack here. It's funny how I actually think that. Well, I guess it makes sense that I'm I'm that I've that this I'm I'm quite comfortable with this game because I've played so much Smash in my years at a very high level. Ugh, a lot of shield guys are rough for a launcher build. Yeah, it's okay. Taking a little bit of damage here, but it's fine. Nice, good. Two holy dice. Weren't we just talking about Smash? <laughs> this is not the most satisfying weapon uh, to do with uh, uh, for Smash attacks, I would say, because they're, ooh, you can you can just do this. <laughs> Bonk! <laughs> All right, it's not supposed to be that easy. <laughs> Launcher build. <laughs> While near the edge of a platform, your launcher has increased damage and knockback. That's pretty situational. Hmm. Gains bonus damage for three seconds after you are hit or after breaking an enemy's shield. I feel like that's just better. Because there are more often shields than being on a ledge. I do not like uh, Nav Navalik. I think he's probably the least powerful blessing. A little too situational. But, uh, oh well. Uh, more movement speed is fine. Um, let's go this way. Get more confused stuff. Oh, I forgot I have my clone. Yep. Okay. And boom. Boom. Nice. That was well calculated. Come here. There we go. Let's grab one of those guys. And let's see. Do we get anything fun here? Enemies damaged by your bolt receive increased damage for from all sources for five seconds. Or your pentacle bolt become one giant throwing star that slowly advances while rapidly damaging enemies. That's kind of cool. Uh, I've never had in either of those, so let's try to get both of those. But let's start with the rare one, and hopefully we can get that other one later on. Do I need to heal? Uh, because I do have the twenty-five percent health when entering a new. Boss, so I think I'm gonna just go for the dust instead. Beak star, we'll try to get the beak star. We'll try to get the beak star. Was that was that the boss? <laughs> yeah, we're we're we're, like, we're dealing very nice amount of damage so far. Oh, that's the shield guy. Come here. Uh oh. Um, come here. Come here again. Come on. Nice. All right. Do I need to heal? I don't think so. And these are really cheap. Although it's so cheap that I might as well. You get additional dust from all sources. Is this too late? Not really. Or I could have an extra air jump. And whenever I jump. I spread wings the f uh, of fire that deals damage. And you know what? Fire is pretty good because it does add a status effect. Which is good because it increases damage against enemies. So we're going to do that. Another bunny one. Don't really care about the bunny. Uh, when you are hit, advance all cooldowns. I don't really care. Being electrified either doesn't really matter. Uh, let's just get adrenaline rush. Uh, you have bonus damage and movement speed for 5 seconds after slaying an enemy. Sure. And I guess we'll grab the health because it's so cheap. Boss time. It's so weird for me to not see the... Okay, that was poorly done, but... Still don't really like this boss, but at least... 
And not this boss is pretty rough with the uh, with the uh, a launcher build, but still doing the same attack. And boom! Okay, that was good good damage. Phase two, big scale boy, and bam. He's also playing launcher build the scale boy. Get out of here. Have to be looking at two things at the same time. All good. Ah, oh, I hate when he can just teleport on you. Oh, uh, ah. Nice, got him. All right, that was pretty good. <laughs> Skeleton has bad internet. Yeah, Skeleton has a uh, low frame rate. <laughs> I love that. All right, what do you got for me? Uh, your holding launcher also increases power, building up to 100% bonus damage when fully charged. So our launcher is more powerful. Your perfect launcher deals more damage. Okay. Your weapon's down air attack. Uh, we don't really care about that. So I forgot. Do we get an extra... This, I think this is the last time we can actually get these upgrades. I think the next world does not have it. Right? Yeah, the next world does not have it. So we should just grab everything we have here. A weapon's down, air attack, summons three projectiles, deal if you fall for at least. That's not great. Let's just grab my attacks, deal more damage, and my uh, deal more damage to, uh, to elite enemies. And that's going to be our final build uh, with these things. We're going to proceed. Ooh, I... Oh, no. We're trying to get for... We're trying to go for the... Uh, that uh, big, uh, the big, uh, the big star. <laughs> he really is Smash Bros. <laughs> Ooh, ouch. I totally forgot to use my clone again. Because the clone is like, usually that ability is not a, it's, it's quite different normally. So I'm not used to using the clone. I really should. Oh, I forgot. That's not what you do. I thought he was going to jump. Bonk. Boom. Boom. Easy game, easy life. Grab one of those and get out of here. All right, come on. Give me the ninja star. None of these are new. My neutral attack deals 45% more damage. On neutral attack is really specific. Uh, when your health is 30% below, or uh, you deal more damage and, and chance to dodge. I will say, uh, this final boss, the final final boss, uh, because I beat the the core, like uh, I, I, like I, un I unlocked the true final phase of the final boss. The final boss was really easy, and then like I realized you have to do like something in order to unlock the true final boss. And the true final boss is really, really challenging. I've only beaten it once. So even though we're doing really well, I have to be careful just knowing that that final boss is there. So I'm already thinking of just any upgrade to just to fight this final boss. Um, I would say we should try to go for the big spinny thingy, right? Oh, we didn't get it. All right, well, let's grab this because it's epic. It's pretty good. Enemy corpses leave a trail of thorns, dealing damage to overlapping enemies for five seconds. It's kind of nice. We have another chance for the, for the spinny thingy. Don't worry. Boom! Oh, jeez. There we go. Uh, launcher is quite good at the smash thing, but not at the most satisfying. We'll find we'll find a better weapon for. I, I I need to do some spikes, which is when I hit an enemy and they fall down to the to the to where I fell the first time. That's what we're looking for for the next uh, run. All right, uh, drows and the other thing is great. 
Enemies take bonus damage, bonus shield damage based on the amount of drenched stacks. Bonus shield damage? That's really specific. Every once in a while, a random enemy gains a stack of drenched. I think that's cool. Good for bosses. Alright, give me this spinny star. Yay! My pentacle bolt becomes one giant throwing star. Cool. Does it uh, follow anyone? It slowly advances. No? Okay, that's fine. Final, 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 one, 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 actual final boss. Yes, I couldn't be more explicit because that is like pretty much what was going on. <laughs> we do need more final, 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 like, you know, Final Fantasy kind of things. Oh, gosh. Ow! I forgot how fast these guys are. I hate these guys. Come on, clone. Bonk. Do you like my start? Yeah, even my normal attacks deal some pretty good damage, I will say. But not as much as my launcher! We didn't get the ability I was actually looking for with the launcher. Uh, there's an ability that is that when I... Uh, I can only use my launcher every two seconds, but it is always instantly charged. Uh, to, to the max. Which is really good with what we, were, with what we, are, we currently have, because we also have the ability that to uh, increase our... our uh, our uh, launcher's damage uh, with the with every time we do an attack. So the idea was that we were going to do a bunch of attacks. Oh, I forgot you can do that. Oh, I forgot you can do that. Actually, oh, I forgot you can do that. Okay, no, I didn't forget any of this stuff. I just suck. <laughs> I'm going to be real with you, okay? I just played terribly. I still play terribly. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's what we missed. Unfortunate. Um, Let's go for the shop. It's a big shop. Big shop. And everything is on everything is on sale. Ooh, and you're here. And we can even pet the little dude. Oh my gosh, he's so adorable. It takes a while before you before he ac accepts your pets. That's how you know that I've played this game enough enough. Yes, you are. You're great. We love you. All right, let's buy everything. When your bolt or launcher damages drenched enemies, deal a portion of the damage to other enemies in a small radius. Hmm. That's cool. Well, it's cool for uh, not for the boss, but for everything else. So we'll, we'll, we'll grab it. Not very impactful for the boss. This is a defensive uh, spirit. Pretty good. You deal more damage to the uh, enemy with the lowest amount of health. Bonus is halved against boss enemies. That pretty much is just a 10% increased boss damage, though. Which is not bad. Um, after you air jump, gain increased cooldown speed until you land. I don't care about my cooldowns. When you're as sensible to players above... Ooh! Uh, 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 I always deal burn damage. Again, burn is pretty cool because it affects uh, enemies with a, uh, with a, uh, status effect. I think I'm gonna heal, because I have money. Exactly. Bad game design if you don't have, like, five true end bosses. Trust me. I'm happy. I, fi I finally finished uh, recording for the new video. I'm currently editing it. Um, I'm hoping to, for it to be out. Well, I don't know, but I'm planning on working on it every day. I'm really excited. It's, like, going to be 25 minutes long, I think, on uh, what makes a good deck-building roguelike. What, what makes a good deck-building roguelike, yeah. Hush kind of counts. I can see that. Alright. Um. What relics do we have? Military bomb. Oh, I don't care about this thing. Uh, maybe I should go for another relic then. Oops. My, my star. Bonk. Bonk. Come here. Oh, I always freak. I'm trying to do like a particular 
technique, but it's not working. Of dashing and then using my launcher, but it's it's always a little later than I think it is. Oh my gosh. When my clone is there, though, it is some good damage. I'm being too greedy. It's okay, because I am going to get some health back for, uh, fighting the boss, but still. Alright, what do you got for me? Your bolt and assists deal 200% damage to the first time you use them. The first time you use them in uh, combat. Comes with bolt damage and attack damage and two air jumps. It's not great. But it's better than the once per room become invisible. Invincible after getting hit. That's just terrible. <laughs> I'm uploading an identical video. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> From the archives, you're right. A brand new video with a cool thumbnail. It just starts. Hello and welcome. We are the Pepperheads. I'm Mark. And I'm Colin. And today we're looking at what m what makes a good deck building roguelike. <laughs> Let's go this way into over there. Dunk. Careful. Nice. Ah, I thought that thing would not stay up long enough. Got my thing ready for you. Bam! Okay. Come on. Boom. Ah, no, that was so bad. <laughs> Some defensive things would be good for the boss. When you're hit, deal damage to nearby enemies? No. In each room combat, the first instance of damage? No. Enemies deal reduced damage once their health falls below 20%? Or if their shield is broken? Mm, no. Let's try to find something better. Uh, let's try something better. They're reducing coming damage from all sources. Okay, fine. That's better. Let's go for the drench. Oh man, when you get multiple enemies at once with your launcher, it is very satisfying. How did you hit me there? I, I, I... I, I'm, I'm, I'm not too confident that was supposed to hit me. Just saying. Boom. Get splashed. Rogue Wave. Splash damage is increased based on the amount of drenched stacks on enemies receiving it. Your attack can now trigger splash damage. Uh... Sure, it's new, so I'm trying to fill up the the catalog, I guess. All right, boss time. Let's make sure we buy everything. Non-boss enemies? Nope. <laughs> oh man, all these terrible. Uh, slaying a certain amount of enemy? No. Oh man, these are so bad. I don't want any of these things. Wait. Oh wait. 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 The deal damage to you permanently, you receive more damage. Boss enemies are only effective for th the next three hits. Okay, that's actually pretty good. I, I I didn't read the full thing. I'm stupid. Your attack launchers deal more damage and shield damage when hitting enemies directly from above. Okay, we'll try that. Do I need to heal? Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> Sorry, I'm just reading some comments here. <laughs> You've never done an April Fool's to a friend? Really? Oh, man. Oh, poof. Fortunate. Alright. Final boss of the... Non, uh... Oh, gosh, my, my multiplier is going down. That's kind of interesting. Uh, hmm. I don't think it should happen. That Normally, it's not supposed to go down when you're not in combat. So, I think it's a bug. Oh, well. I love the music in this, in this uh, fight. God, I'm being way too greedy. I want to hit my perfect launchers every time. Just gonna wait. Mm. There we go. Oh, gosh. Ah, I'm being super greedy. Okay, phase two. Uh, really cool, but you can just stay on this corner and then just dash here. I didn't think he would do that. Ow! I didn't think that projectile would get me. Maybe I should have healed? Maybe? Okay, maybe I should be more careful with the attacks, huh? Uh... Oh, come on. Boom! Get out of here! Easiest game of my life. <laughs> <coughs> I'm so comfortable playing this guy with uh, fast attacks. I totally forgot how it is to play with the slow launcher build. Jeez. Uh, okay, well, uh, it's fine. We got it. Because we can heal for the next fight. So, theoretically, uh, it's as if I it's as if I took no damage. Okay, so this is the final, final area. Which was added uh, in the full release. And I really like it. Uh, basically, it's, um... It's everything is smashed now. So you can actually either kill enemies or uh, send them out of the, uh, of the map. Whichever is easiest. So here, I got this guy out of the map. This guy... Out of the map. Nice. But how are you liking this game? Better than Dead Cells. I mean... You're... You're talking about two very good games here. So I, I think this game is really, really, really good. Uh... Deserves more attention. Um, Dead Cells? Why do you pick Dead Cells? <laughs> Dead Cells is a phenomenal game. <laughs> uh, but I would say that I'm having more fun than Dead Cells currently. But the thing is, I've played Dead Cells a ton a while ago. I haven't played Dead Cells in a while. But I... Oh, that was very, very satisfying. Sorry about that. Um, like, I played Dead Cells when it first came out. And I, I, I went crazy on it. So there's been quite a while now, so it's kind of hard for me to really compare that because back in the day, like I, I didn't see, I, I wasn't as good as, a, I wasn't as good as, uh, I wasn't as good of, of a roguelike player, and like my my attitude of, uh, towards playing roguelikes has changed quite a bit since. So it's kind of hard to say. I find it interesting that you would compare it to to. Uh, to death cells. Okay, these guys are bullying me, and I don't appreciate it. Nice. Alright. Okay. I am not super confident uh, that I can kill the final boss with this build, but we'll do our best. They won the early tier list info. Yeah, yeah. No spoilers. Come on. 
Can I buy everything? Uh, 120, that's uh, 240, that's 330, that's 360. Yes, I can buy everything. Cool. So this is all about the boss. And actually, there are some edges on the for the boss. So we'll grab the edge guard. Well, this is a crit guy. We haven't seen the crit guy at all. Uh, gradually deal more damage to enemies the closer they are to half of their max hit points. I'm not too sure how that really works, but that seems to work. More hit points. Heal. And I'm going to fully heal for the final boss. Okay, so we're back to full health for the final boss, which is good. But uh, again, this final boss is hard. I've only beaten it once. And it was not with a launcher build. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Feels like Smash Brothers. It pretty much is Smash Brothers. Yep. All right. <sighs> Our subscribers can get early tier lists. Well, the thing is, again, like I'll be so. For those of you who don't know, I, I'll be streaming it. I'm gonna be streaming it in like a week and a half, and then I'll release it as a video edited, uh, just cutting out some some portions, uh, kind of like exactly what I did last time, like a few weeks later. So if you want to see the, the tier list live. I'll, I'll keep everybody posted on Discord, and I'll make a, a post and everything. But that'll be in about a week and a half. And then I'll have the official video up on YouTube a few weeks later. So, look forward to that. Alright, people! Yes, there will be an Isaac here before it's true. It's true. Actually, I think the next stream will be Isaac. And that's going to be on Friday. Uh, it's a bit, a bit further away, but I'm, uh, I'm going to Texas for a gig. Uh, this week. So I'll be back uh, Thursday. I'll stream Friday. Alright, final boss, people! Here we go! Early videos and in, info... In, I mean... <laughs> if I was doing more videos, sure, but... Alright! So she is really hard. But... Trying to get her in there, and that deals a lot of damage. So it, I love the final boss is just smash. Cool. So far so oh gosh, so far so good. Ah! Get the clone. Ah, shoot, I hate this attack. Get in there. Perfect. Actually that works pretty well with the launcher in this scenario. Got it. Ah shoot. It's all good. Nice. Wow, oh, this is actually going really well. Maybe this is super easy. Like I'm not gonna struggle at all. There's totally not another phase after that. That's like way harder. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. That would be like an April Fool's joke. <laughs> ah. Okay. Guess what? There's an actual uh, extra phase! Alright, so, there's a few things. Now there's a little white, do uh, white dot that heals her and does bad things. Uh, uh, so, I have to make sure I'm not close to that white dot. Because it will explode on me and deal a crazy amount of damage. Oh, that was nice. Nope. Got it. Get out of here. Perfect. Actually, really useful to have the launcher in this instance. Uh, gosh, get out of here. Ugh, the stupid dot. It's kind of hard to see the dot, too. I mean, it's kind of a point. It also does heal the boss, so I have to be a little careful. Ah, uh, she's going to go heal her. It's okay. Oh, gosh, the dot is right here. I didn't even see it. Yes. Oh, shoot. I tried to dash away, but... Ah, shoot. Nice. <laughs> oh, that was bologna sandwiches. Ow. I... Get out of here. Nice. Come on. <laughs> I am so close to being dead. No. <laughs> okay, I have a re I have a revive. I have a revive. So we should be fine. Nice. Okay. Oh, man. I was hoping to do it without the revive. <laughs> oh, man. That I, I, I was hoping you guys would not 
Because I would have told you that I had a revive, but I was hoping I could clutch out with no health and beat her and be like, Oh my god, I was so clutch! But actually, I had a revive, so it was probably fine. I'm surprised this worked out so well. I mean, I've only beaten her once before, so... That's cool. Uh, but he couldn't, but it didn't matter. Rip and GG. <laughs> so, um, there is one final piece of the puzzle that I haven't figured out yet. And you see all of these uh, lights that are next to that, that are uh, on here. All of them are lit up except this one here. Now all of these are linked to the spirits. Uh, so for instance, like uh, I, 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 yeah, for instance, you can see the the water spirit is the one that we currently have, and it's this guy which is uh, right here. So this is one of the spirits. I don't know what that means because I don't know if it means that I haven't beaten it with without having the spirit on me or like the mask. I haven't completed enough times with all these masks to have done it with everything. So I don't know, but we need to figure out which, which one of these spirits it is to figure out the final piece of this puzzle. So it's the, it's an H. Okay, so we'll, we'll, once we're done with this run, we'll go back, we'll take a look at uh, what is the H spirit. Woo, GG's. Let's go figure out, just try to figure out this piece of the puzzle. The H is... Which one is the H? Is it this one? Wait. Fancy, I didn't need to know exactly. <laughs> was, it, was it this one? I thought it looked different. Why am I... Huh. I feel like it looked different. None of the above. It's none of those. The build that has mostly that one. I thought it... I th Wait a minute. Shoot. It's a secret thing. Interesting. Well, there is one... Uh, th there's two secrets that I still haven't figured out. Spirit or something, yeah. And one of the things is... If I look at the masks... Um, looking at the masks here. Yeah. Okay, so all the masks are really powerful, except our starting mask, which does nothing. But, this unique garment gains new magical properties when the wearer equips a spirit-forged mask. Run augmentations can be set without consuming... Wait, what? Wait, what? Uh, usually, uh, I thought I said that I, I, I didn't... Wait, I'm so confused. I have no idea what this means. Mask of Ormond Forge. This unique garment gains new magical properties when the wearer equips a spirit forged mask. I don't know what that means. Can be set with without run augmentation can be set without consuming in sanctum resource. I mean I'm gonna try to beat the game with this mask because it it's the default mask. So I guess that's something special, right? Hmm, okay. Maybe it, it wants you to finish it with a build that has mostly that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably a secret bonus spear or something. Okay, well, I'm going to try to, to play with the default. Anyway, so, that was the de that was the launcher build. Now, what should we do? Uh, anybody who wants in the chat can uh, give me a... Uh, I'll, I'll showcase all the, all the different uh, ones. We have the multi-hit fists. Uh, we have big fists. We have uh, bow. We have crossbow. We have twin blades, which can uh, stick to enemies. Uh, we have uh, double swords, which can dash. Shing! And is very fast and does a lot of attacks. We've got the Cypher, which is a kind of a launcher thing, so I would rather not do it because it pretty much is just a launcher build. And then there's the alternate for form of it, which I haven't unlocked. Which one should we do? Bow? Crossbow? Oh, man. Oh, the problem is that the bow is not is another launcher thing because uh, this is the launcher. 
And I feel like you kind of like use the launcher more than the attacks of the bow. Um, but. Hmm. I gotta go do something. I'll be able to listen and can watch, still watch while doing it, but probably can't chat. All good. Don't offer if you don't want want to play it, lol. <laughs> That's fair. I was hoping, uh, well, okay. Let's do, uh, I guess I haven't actually played the launcher. <laughs> You'll do your best. <laughs> I guess I'll try the launcher. I haven't, I haven't really tried the launcher. So, the, the cross, the cross, the crossbow. Uh, let's, uh, let's make it stronger, though. Cool. So now, ugh. now our crossbow has does does something special. Let's read it. After you combat roll, if you land during a side air attack or down air attack, roll and deal damage. If you land during a sad, if you land during a side air attack or down air attack. Oh. That's cool. Okay. Cool. All right. So, uh we have a Oh, that 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 triggers that does trigger a um sweet spot. If it hits in the middle, I think. Yeah. It, it, uh, that that so that that grenade triggers a sweet spot. That's cool. Um I think we can do a bunch of sweet spots with this with this build. Let's see. Oh, I love that. That's cool. Okay. Uh, grenade. Then we have our launcher. We have a Joker move from Smash. We have a, just a whack with your with your crossbow. Uh, up. An up attack. This. Oh, man. Okay. This is interesting. Okay. I'm actually excited. I, I haven't played much with this with this one. <laughs> You're going to say many bad words in chat. Sabora, no! For now, so I don't have to moderate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, you, you you heard him. Don't be stupid. So let's keep an eye on that thing that we were looking at. If we can uh, remember how it looked like. Oh oh oh! oh I forgot. Uh, I can upgrade some stuff. Um, before that, yeah, I have eight uh, eight of these things. Let's upgrade some stuff. Alternating between different types of attacks increases your incense multiplier. Nah. So we fall break. That's specific. What is this? Decrease incoming damage by 30% when you are hit while having max HP. That's not... Sweet Spot increases your essence multiplier. Enemies drop 10% dust and essence for each spawned enemy wave in the current room. That's not bad. We'll grab that. Recover 30% uh, health whenever you enter a room with less than 30% health. That's not going to happen very often. But I'm kind of curious what the other things are. So I'm going to grab that. What is this? Status effects have 30% duration when inflicted on enemies with 30% or uh, health or lower. Okay. When you have seven or more enchantments, deal 5% damage per unit of essence you have. When you have seven or more enchantments. Per unit of essence. Okay, so it's like late game stuff. Uh, sure. That's, well, that's four. That's a lot. If your bolt didn't hit any enemies before destroying it, uh, advance its cooldown, nah. For one second after you hit, you are hit, your launcher deals more damage. Funny. Consecutive wall splats on the stunned enemy deal more damage. It would have been fun on the last run. If you fast fall, do something. Non-boss enemies with under 10% health are slain instantly if wall splatted. That's kind of cool. It's only one, too. Alright, then we're going to grab that, that, that sacred emulation. Blessing from the spirit are 10% more likely to be of higher quality. That's... that's fine. Alright. 
And now we can go back to to our little spot. Indeed. Oh gosh, what are you doing? No! Darter! Darter! Bad darter. Bad. I could also... Okay, I got a question for you, chat. There is this... Um, there is this uh, one right here. The peren perennial tactics. All perennial order bosses... Are more are powerful and have new attacks. I believe it just means that every boss is now more powerful and does crazier stuff. Now, if I do this, I'm probably not going to win this run. But it will it will show different bosses. Should we do it, or should I try to beat this run? Uh, have be the focus and try to unlock this thing potentially. What should we do? Should I go try this cr this crazy way harder build uh, uh, way harder thing probably, or not? My entire chat is being banned. Great, thanks. <laughs> it's a Shadow Realm, a secret chat room. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it, Darter! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try this thing. But I'm going to uh, get rid of the Fog of War to make things a little easier. Maybe I make it actually easier. Okay, we're just gonna make bosses harder. Oh, <laughs> you can't time yourself out. Ah. Oh, oh, that's what it means. The mask. I can grab. I can grab these things without spending resources. Oh, that's awesome. So I can have. Oh, that's super cool. Missing. Okay, okay, okay. When you use your perfect launcher. Stuff happens. Use your perfect launcher. A second projectile is fired at the opposite direction. Let's grab the, your launcher. Beam bounces off walls. There you go. And let's grab... Set the first divine spear. Which one, which one do I want to start with? Maybe... Maybe crit. Crit is cool. Alright. Alright, people. Here we go. Crossbow run. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before we get started, I'm so sorry. I I, I know this is... Wait, I, I, I have a click, I have a click. I have a click, I have a click. I have a click. Click! There you go. That was my achievement for beating the thingy. So I gotta click. I click on the shiny thingy. I'm proud of myself. All right. <laughs> I clean my way over to dishes. <laughs> exactly. Alright. Boom. Oh, I forgot. I don't have the... Oh, what the hell? Did you see how... F the, the, the bouncing... Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Okay. Your bolt is a howl that deals damage in a radius around you and inflicts three stacks of wounded. And wounded means that they can... They take increased uh, crit chance. Which we're going to try to go for crit build. Because that sounds fun. I could also just have my attacks inflict wound, which is also really good. I think I'm going to take the... Hmm. The attacks inflict wound. Okay, let's go here, 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 here. I took out the thing where I can't see the map. But I can't actually see the map, so I'm going to go here, here. I'm going to go... For the mini boss, unless that's a smash fight, then I'll go here, here, smash fight. Okay, got it. <laughs> I love that the bounce is awesome with this. With this, no normally the the bow doesn't do that. The bow is a slow projectile, so that's kind of fun. Okay, uh, tribute room. 
use one of my dudes for some monies and sacrifice some health for some dice. Okay, we're going for more crit. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. <laughs> I just whacked the stupid fly. <laughs> Three dollars so you don't feel like you were gone. <laughs> hey, Mark, play some Isaac. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Yes, Darter. I'll definitely do that. Sorry. <laughs> hey, everyone. I had yet another Isaac big surprise. <laughs> best, uh, best impression so far. Okay. Uh, critical dash. Your dash deals damage twice and inflicts wound. Okay. Uh, mini boss. Mini boss. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. I'm glad you guys told me to get grab grab that weapon. I was wondering what was the difference between the the crossbow and the the bow. That's clearly like the biggest difference. Nice. Ooh, gain bonus critical damage for each blessings you have with a, with at least one uh, luminous gem. Oh, that's so good. So now I can just try to get a bunch of gems on my abilities, and I get 10% crit. Wait, game of for each blessing. So it doesn't, it, multiple, multiple gems on, this, on the same blessing won't work. That already gives me plus 10% crit damage because this comes with, the with a gem. That's awesome. Which is very, which is very lucky because it's just because of my 15% chance of it occurring. Hell yeah. We go here. I like this. Uh... Oh, I do like the bolt. Your bolt rapidly damages enemies in a straight path, destroying projectiles on its way. You are poised while firing, which means I take less damage uh, and will not interrupt your uh, your actions. That's cool. Now it just does zoom, but uh, there is an upgrade we're going to try to go for it that will make it bounce back and forth, which is really fun. Uh, do I want to buy this? I think I do. Smash! Oh, not yet. Ha! Bonk! Ah! Ha ha ha! Oh, I love this. I love this game. Bonk! Ow. Oh, I thought it would hit him. <laughs> oh, I have to remember I'm playing. I'm, I'm playing uh, versus uh, stronger bosses. <gasps> I got the bounce. Your Im I imperious bolt bounces off walls and gains increased speed instead of being destroyed. Well, it's only one bounce, but we can try to make it better. Yoink! <laughs> Below pro gamer move. Come on. That <laughs> smacked my head. That, 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 that is accurate. I like it. I still don't really understand. When the wearer equips a spirit forged mask. But isn't that the mask itself? I don't know. Alright. Uh, how is Matt? Do I have a spike move? I don't think I have a spike move. A bit of a shame. Oh, I forgot you can do that. 
Oh, I can I can lay a trap though. <sighs> Do I have a spike move? Oh. Yeah, it's going to be much harder than the Nice, I got the sweet spot. Sweet spot, nice! <sighs> that wasn't really a spike, but that was that was still cool. Yeah, it's gonna be much harder with the <laughs> with this character with this uh build. No! Okay, I am going to grab the health because uh, I'm worried about these bosses. I would ban everyone in chat as a part of the joke as well, but oh well. <laughs> Alright, people. First boss upgraded. I have no idea how insane the upgrades are. Hopefully they're not too bad, but we'll see. So. We'll see. I don't really have a great build so far but also my launcher is nothing but gotta stay hydrated especially if, when you're fighting a big boss encounter it's usually good to be hydrated before an encounter take my word for it people oh my goodness Sephora <laughs> this is more like my power <laughs> thank you so much for just random ten dollar donation oh man that's so sweet of you thank you thank you thank you that really means a lot oh thank you so much and you get to of course get to pick whatever you want and uh here things are different now we, now that we have theme parks with tv shows like whatever you want here you get to pick a click you can even you can even upgrade your alchemies if you want or my thing yeah thank you so much it really really means a lot every time that's just very very sweet of you really appreciate it take a look at what you want and uh make sure you let me know before uh before the end of the stream you can save your click if you want but just keep that in mind you've got a click <laughs> oops i pressed the wrong thing but i guess that's fitting <laughs> there you go you know what let's screw it now boom there you go thank you thank you <laughs> You want another portal? Uh, you, you you mean you want another TV show? Of course. Yeah, you could also upgrade your- wait, no, you can't upgrade the- no, oh, those are alchemies. Yeah. Show those other portal owners to- to who- to know who's boss, that's the spirit! Uh, those are the portals. Yes. And 3.118 to 3.215. Thank you, thank you. Pull those forever, exactly. All right, now now I'm ready to fight an encounter. Okay, let's see how this boss goes. A little nervous. Whoa! That, I don't I don't think. Oh gosh! Oh boy! Oh great! The fight is much harder than usual. Okay. Oh, there's double swords now? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you do a thing as well when you do that now? Oh, no. Oh, you can reflect my freaking projectiles? No, you can't. Get some hits in. Don't let her. No! You usually don't do that that fast. Ah! What is that attack? Holy shrimp! Why are there 
so many more attacks than usual. I thought it was just like one or two more attacks, not like an entire freaking. Oh no. Oh no. Hey, I got an achievement! Defeat the Endering Sentry under the effect of the Pendant Tactics. Okay, yeah, so this is a full-on achievement thing. Oh, man, that was, like, three times harder. No joke. Well, I lost my, uh, my respawn on the first boss. That's not good. I did not think it would be that crazy. Holy shrimp. There we go. When you combat roll, reload. Uh, that's nothing. When you use your perfect launcher, a second projectile is fired in the opposite direction. That's really funny, because it will just, uh, bounce everywhere. My sweet spots deal more damage? That's kind of cool, honestly. Skill issues. <laughs> there he is. Oh, <laughs> thank you again. Ach you know what? Yeah, I do, I, I, I do deserve an achievement for that. Uh, click because I, I I did get I did get an achievement. That's right. You're absolutely right. I'm gonna. Um, how many alchemies do I have? I have a lot of alchemies. Let's let, let let's upgrade our alchemies. Twice as efficient. I wonder how powerful that is. Uh, three point two one five. Three point six six three. It's pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> Tartar's back right on time. Of course. All right. Let's go. Let's go this way. Hmm. I'd like to get the gem because that you know we have the increased crit stuff. But the mini boss is pretty good. We'll, we'll we'll think about it when we get there. Let's go here. Nice. Alright. Landing non-critical hits on wounded enemies increases your critical chance. The effect resets when you deal critical damage. Now, more importantly, this one came with a 50% chance of getting a gem. So we're going to grab that. Because that just straight up increases our crit damage by 10%. And we're going to try to get that very high. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Try to get a sweet spot. Nice! That was a sweet spot. That was awesome. Nice! Oh, that was so cool! Boom! Sweet spot. Boom! Sweet spot! Oh! Woo! Oh, that felt good. Oh, that felt good. Oh, oh, oh. Whew. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> that was very satisfying. I am very happy with that. Okay, so that means that there's not going to be the... Um, smash here. So I can do this, 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 and then the gem here. I think that's pretty good. I started my Bloodborne. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I saw that you you were doing that. I had something going on this morning, but uh, oh, that's so cool. I'm so I'm so jealous that you can do it. I really want to play it. I'm pl I'm planning on playing uh, Lies of P, not on stream, but uh, I'm planning on myself playing Lies of P. Oh, that's awesome. Good job. That's really really cool. <laughs> oh shoot, that was stupid. Oh. Oh, he evaded my attacks. Oh, I didn't I did not think he could go that far.
Hmm, that was a little messy, but... Okay. Uh, I got I got the... Well, I don't really like this. Uh, this is my ultimate ability. My assist. This has a gem. Enemies that overlap one another receive bonus damage from your attacks. It's kind of specific. It doesn't work against bosses, but it does have a gem. Thinking of taking it. Yeah, I heard it's very hard. So, should be breeze for me. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, it's uh it's like a lot of games try to be like, "Oh, I want to do another Souls like like From Soft." And everybody's like, "Yeah, nice try." And this is like the one game that actually apparently did did really really well. So, I want to play it. All right. I am so scared for the boss. The the, the trio upgraded. Oh, this guy, I forgot. Sounds miserable. I don't know if I should be fighting that guy up there. Oh, you can do a double attack. Good to know. Oh, I thought you were going to get hit by my other thing. Oh, gosh. Oh gosh, this is not going well. Oh gosh, this is not going well. Oh gosh, this is not going well. No! Okay. Easy. Adamant launcher. Your launcher deals more damage, and I'm poised when I do it, and it has a gem. Oh gosh, don't die. Is there a shop around? Yes! There's a shop right here. I have no gems for some reason. Help! Heal. This thing. I have a base increased dodge chance. 14%. Or I can get 20% after every dash, but I think 14% overall is just better. Okay. I'm not gonna fight this thing. It's like a mini boss you can fight. He's hard, he doesn't really give you anything. He gives you like hub world stuff. Do you guys want me to, do you wanna see this mini boss? Yeah, you know what? It's for the content. I probably should. I am missing out on the uh, on the crit stuff, though. But. The way I usually do, yeah. No, that that fight was rough. That, that was a rough fight. All right, well, another mini boss. I guess this one's a little easier, I think, because. Ah, gosh, while I was charging, I, did, I forgot you, you could do that. Oh, I didn't know he was doing that. I thought he was going to do something else. I was just right above him. Oh, gosh. I'm... Oh, no. Oh, gosh. I don't know his attacks enough because he's like kind of a new... Uh, enemy. Yeah, I pretty much just have to not be above him at all times, it would seem. Oh, gosh! Uh, I think I got lucky. Ah, ah. <laughs> you 
easiest game of my life. Oh, so easy. All right, Shadow with the... I mean, we have everything, like, we need. Just the fact that we're low on health. I'm not used to this moveset of these guys. Uh, I actually don't know if I... Maybe I want to go for the relic chest. I need something here. Okay. This is a good this is a good room though. Boom. Cool. <sighs> okay, give me something that can heal me for the boss. All damage you deal with did or take is 30% higher. Perfect. Absolutely freaking perfect. <laughs> I think I, 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 I don't think I can take it. Because I, I can't out damage the bosses. I'm going to take damage from the boss for sure because I, I don't know their moveset. So I think I have to get rid of it. I think it's the only one I can't take. I can heal again here. <sighs> okay, here we go. <sighs> okay, so he dashes. <sighs> he does triple arrow. I think they're faster in general. Shoot. <clears throat> they heal. Darn it. Ah, <laughs> it was doing so well. <laughs> oh, man, I thought it was doing so well, too. Darn it. Oh, man. Woo! Skill issue! <laughs> Thanks for being there. <laughs> oh, man, I didn't realize how hard that... Ch oh, man, I'm now I'm excited to try it on my end as well. I didn't think it would be that challenging to have that modifier. Oh, that's gonna be fun to do. Play to clean, thank you. Well, not clean enough. But that was fun. That was really, really fun. I'm definitely excited to try it out again. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with the with the crossbow. I do want to do one thing though is I I haven't unlocked the final final weapon, and I want to see how it looks like. It's uh, this guy, alternate form. Let's take a look at how that alternate. I got an achievement! Ha <laughs> ha I just wanted to find a way to have an achievement. There you go, because I unlocked all the all the different uh, forms. So now I get even if I didn't beat it, I still get a click. <laughs> and I'm gonna give myself. theme park. Boom. I deserve it. Let's take a look at that that new weapon we got. Oh, what the hell? Where'd he go? Let's 
That's so... That's so weird. What the hell? <laughs> Why does it go in the wall? Oh, man. There must be some really interesting stuff with it. Okay, so let's take a look at my neutral. Oh, my neutral is a dash. That's kind of... Oh, multi-hit dash. Ooh, I like that a lot. My up. Also, oh, it has a lot of multi-hits. This is great. Okay. In drill mode, eject the drill's head at an arc. Yeah, got that. In spear mode, strike and re-attack the new drill head. Yep, got it. Okay. So weird. I wonder what the benefit is really of having those drill go down a bit. All right, let's take a look at my neutral air. It's my neutral. Get my stuff back. That's really cool. Cool, and my down. <gasps> oh, it's not a spike. Fortunate. But still cool. Dash, bolt, and leave. Cool. Nice. Healing, no. Yeah. Well, I think the idea w is that you can try... Because you can kill all of them at the same time. And then they wouldn't heal. That's pretty hard, but... Mm. They are the best. Yes. I've, uh, I I live really close to one. I, I really live I live very close to uh, Six Flags. So I've gone there a few times. It's pretty fun. All right. Well. I mean... I'm definitely going to continue playing that some more. I think this is one of the best new roguelikes uh, out there. I think this game is phenomenal. Super, super, super good. Uh, I wish there were different maybe boss variations. I mean, I guess there's that challenge, but that is a hard challenge. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, a, I'm hoping that I'm not going to complete everything super fast. I've been playing for a bit, but the game has so much content gameplay-wise... That I feel like it is going to eventually have a little bit less content in terms of uh, in terms of just like you know stuff to uncover and figure out. So I feel like that that's going to happen uh, eventually, which is going to be a, a little sad. I hope they continue they continue to uh, to update this game because I think it's amazing. I really do think so. Uh, so if you like Hades, if you like Smash, you should definitely go check out this game. It's so satisfying. I mean, right now, just, like, being able to dash around, do all these combos and stuff. Oh, it's so, so, so satisfying. And if you're, and if you're, yeah, if, if you are comfortable with Smash, I think you'll, you'll really be able to actually utilize your skills in this game, which is super, super cool. Uh, big fan of it. Uh, yeah, this is a really, really solid game. Uh, but uh, you'll have to see more about it when I put it on the tier list. Yeah, and once again, um, I am, I've am i been working on the tier list very hard. I've been working on the video very hard. Uh, both of these things hopefully will be uh, done before the end of the month. I think both of them should be. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, the tier list should happen next, uh, maybe by the end of the next week. I will keep you all posted on YouTube and on Discord. Uh, so I'll let you know before, uh, uh, before actually you are trying to do that. And for the video... I'm just working hard on it, but I'm looking forward to uh, sharing it with everybody. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be uh, that's going to be about it for me. They're expensive. Yes, they are. Ah, hell yeah. I'm happy you're excited. I'm excited for it, too. It's going to be a long one. It's 35 games, but I'm going to be talking about them a lot uh, in, in more detail. Because last time I did that, I wasn't really focused. Like, I've, I've always been focused on design, of course. I mean, I had the, what makes a good deck building, uh, what, what makes a good roguelike video before the, the tier list. But now that I've started a series on looking for the next big roguelike, I'm uh, more, I think I'm going to be more comfortable and uh, I'm not going to be more pressured by the fact that I have 85 games to review to actually like talk about them a little bit more in depth and talk about like certain uh, aspects of them. I'm, I'm going to be working a lot. <laughs> I need to play these games a lot uh, before that because I want to, I need to write some notes and figure stuff out. But uh, yeah. Uh, look forward to that. I'm pretty excited. Anyway, uh, that was really fun. I hope you guys had a good time. I had a wonderful time. This was really enjoyable. Will you go through all the games from the old... No, I will not. I'm not going to go through all the games um, uh, from, from the old tier list. I think they'll be too long. And 
I think I'm, I'm pretty happy with most of what I said on the last tier list. I'm going to be re-reviewing two or three games from that list, uh, either because they have full releases or because I've changed my mind on them. But overall, it's just going to be new stuff. Uh, so, um, yeah. Yeah, the mobi mobility is so, so good in this game. It, it, is, it is such a good game. Seriously. Very, very good job. All right, everybody. Uh, that's it for me. I'm going to go get some food and probably play this some more and try to beat this crazy challenge on my own. Because <laughs> why not? Until then, thank you so much for joining me on this stream. And I will see you uh, Friday. Next Friday is going to be uh, Isaac. Uh, so look forward to that. Until then, have a wonderful week. And I will see you very soon. Yes, food is top tier. Totally agree with you with that. I'm glad we're on the same page. Thanks again, Sabora, for your very generous donation. I will see you very soon. Bye-bye. Roguelikes are everywhere. And if you didn't get a chance to play a lot of them in the last few years, it can easily be overwhelming when trying to find the right one for you to start with. Luckily enough, roguelites and roguelikes are a subgenre, meaning that there are many different kinds of games out there that are considered rogue games, and finding the right one for you is almost always a certainty. So here's a list of my personal recommendations for people with zero prior experience who want to get into modern roguelikes and roguelites. If you're looking to play something quick and casual, then I'd recommend trying out a top-down single-level layout game. Instead of worrying about having to get comfortable with controls, strategy, and mechanics, these games are more focused on simple gameplay with very satisfying runs that get crazier and crazier very quickly without much effort. For this style of gameplay, my pick for starting out would be Brotato, a fun and simple game with nothing more but movement controls. Pick a character with drastically different attributes and mechanics from one another as if playing a different minigame between each character, pick a starting weapon and difficulty and start to run. What I do enjoy in this game is how simple and approachable runs are. The movement is fluid and sprites are very distinct, allowing for some satisfying dodging between bullets and enemies. Items are easy to understand but have an interesting risk versus reward aspect to them, making the shopping phase engaging while also giving a quick breather between waves. If you'd like a bit more content and a sense of progression, look no 